morning everyone uh today we are starting our bread the noise in the background is the dryer i am in our utility room um we are going to make some bread out of this book and we're going to start with the basic recipe uh easy does it yeast bread and there are several different varieties never uh, several different uh variations of this bread that you can make so i'm going to try within the next few days and make try to do all of them i don't know how that's going to go about but we will try i will try um i have never used this recipe so fyi so the first thing in this recipe we got to lightly spoon our flour into the measuring cup then we got to level off so I need two and a half cups of flour right now and I got to combine it in a large bowl with two packages of yeast a fourth a cup of sugar and a tablespoon of salt so I'm going to do that right now I don't want it that warm because if you get your the stuff too hot it will kill the your yeast so your bread won't rise I know that much from my experience I've never had it done but you never know and you always want fresh yeast if you can get it it is warm enough so it says to add eggs and warm liquid two flour mixer so I got my two eggs one and I always since I use farm fresh eggs I always like to crack them in a, like a little dish or something before I add them to the skillet or whatever so now the milk um, and now I gotta beat this at high speed yay until at low speed until moist three minutes at high speed that poke that egg three cups of more flour and i gotta add three to three and a half cups of flour to form a sticky dough i'm gonna get this all mixed in i'll see you in a bit three cups did it i didn't have to add another half a cup so now we get to knead the dough and work it until the dough is smooth and pliable no longer sticky so about five minutes in order to knead dough this is the fun part of doing your dough you just make sure your board is floured um, and you just put your hand like that and just keep going until you think you feel like the dough is pliable I'm going to knead this dough a little bit more. The next step is to get a bowl, have it oiled, and place your dough in there. I like turning my dough over. You don't have to. And we need to put a towel over it for and let it rise until double. And then I'm going to make two different, I'm going to make a regular loaf and a round loaf of bread. So stay tuned uh come back in here in a little bit i've got my round my round bed my round bread and the long um bread in the long bread pan now i gotta let this dough rise again until it's double then it'd be ready to bake Make one a crispy shiny crust so i got one egg mixed in with a tablespoon of water i'm going to brush this on this will be the round loaf then i'm going to sprinkle on some sesame seeds and the other one will be a soft buttery crust on the loaf so it's about ready to bake we got the egg mixture and i'm going to just brush it on like so Kind of got it 
thick over there on that one side. It'll be all right though. Next is we're going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on. I'll sprinkle on some sesame seeds on our bread. So I now I need to bake this for 30 to 35 minutes. Um, or until it sounds hollow. That's what the recipe says. So I am going to move my timer and I'm going to do 15. Oh. So I know that when the 15 minutes is up, it'll ding and I'll have to just flip it around so we will get an even bake on this toaster oven. Sorry about the echo. It's regular for, it's time for the regular loaf pan. Uh, as you can see, it is tripled in size almost. Uh, I'm going to do this about 20 minutes um, because that's how long it took the round loaf one. So I'm going to do 10 minutes on this side and switch it around and do 10 minutes on the other side. So on this loaf, I want a soft buttery crust. So I'm brushing on some melted softened butter on the top here get here on this side and it is done I'm gonna get, finish all the rest of this tablespoon of butter on there Yum, yum.